In this video, I'm sharing five game-changing productivity hacks for Flutter developers using VS Code. Stick around because tip number five will blow your mind. Let's dive in. First up, terminal aliases. Imagine typing Flutter clean, Flutter pub get over and over. It gets old, right? What if you could just type FC instead? Magic. Here's how you do it. Open your terminal and type nano and visit to your bash profile. Depending on what shell you're using, you can either write nano zshrc or bashrc. You just have to add this single line alias, the shortcut keyword and the full command which you want to execute. Save it, reload your terminal with source zshrc or restart terminal and boom, you have got a shortcut. Less typing, more coding because every second counts. Next up, the image preview extension because Opening image in a separate tab is so 2020. Install image preview from the extension tab. Now, anytime you hover over an image file inside your project, boom, instant preview. Perfect when you are tweaking assets in your Flutter application. No more switching windows. Keep your focus on your code. Number three, custom code snippets. Tired of typing boilerplate code? Let's VS Code do the heavy lifting. And I have talked about this so many times that I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to have custom code snippets. You can just open the command palette with control shift P, search for configure user snippets and select Dart. Here you can add your own snippets, for example, a Flutter stateful widget snippet. Likewise, I've created snippets for API call, get call, post call, and even creating a static constant variable. Literally, I have saved hours with the snippets and you will too. Tip number four, your settings.json file is your secret weapon for customization. You can have your custom settings based on the project or overall VS code by just modifying the properties inside settings file. So you can have different settings for different project. If you're working with different client, they follow the different line indention, they follow the different spacing or any kind of setting. You can tweak in this file and keep it separate for every single project. This setting file is project specific. So whatever changes you make remains to this project only. Pro tip, back up your settings.json and you can replicate your perfect setup anywhere. And finally, meet your new best friend, the Git history extension. Ever wonder who broke the code? This extension gives you the superpowers. Install it from extension tab and you can visualize the entire commit history, blame view, and even compare the file changes with a click. Debugging just got 10 times easier. No more finger pointing, let Git history reveal the truth. And before we conclude, if you're interested in learning more advanced topic like isolates in Dart, you can check out this video. A lot of people have given very nice reviews, so you can also watch and understand this topic easily. Perfect. So these were five quick productivity hacks to supercharge your Flutter workflow inside VS Code. Which one you are going to try first?